Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. And the blogging continues here in Blogtober. I've done Blogmas or Vlogmas, but I've never done Vlogtober. So today's gonna be a busy day. We got a couple things we're gonna do. The first of which is to check out, by a recommendation, Half Price Books. Heard about this place for a long time, not just from the vinyl record side of things, but also because I'm a Hardy Boys book collector. I've heard this is a really good place for that stuff as well. So not just books, but also music. We want to check it all out. So let's go see. Half Price Books. It's a beautiful day, by the way, in Houston town. So yeah, the first time I heard about Half Price Books was actually having nothing to do with records. It had everything to do with Hardy Boys books. And I became a collector of those about 10, 15 years ago. And what you'll see me doing here in a minute is looking at the table of contents. That's because the most desirable copies of the Hardy Boys are volumes 1 through 38. And what's called and what's referred to as the original text. Meaning that they had a different story, a different text than later editions. And that's an interesting story for a different day. But the way you can tell is if the book has 25 chapters, it's an original text. If it has 20, it's the revised text. So I had to go check that out. They had three original text picture covers there that I was about to get and take home. But I just, you know, some days you don't feel like buying anything. And that was kind of one of these days, which is bizarre because I found all sorts of goodies, including an interesting predecessor to the Laserdisc. Uh, it's odd to see this stuff on the shelf. It's just like, who can imagine just walking in there and being like, yeah, I wonder if they have uh, old, you know, video discs. And yes, they actually do. And they've got 78s. And I didn't even get to go through the 78s because I had my eyes set on a different part of the store. As you will see, I wanted to cover that though. Vinyl selection was, I, I would say it was moderate. It wasn't a crazy amount of a vinyl i was kind of expecting more to be honest but i was impressed by what else they had all of these cassettes in a minute you're going to see eight track tapes which is always fun at least on the store shelf i think it's exciting it's like to see that on the store shelf is really interesting that was a locked case with some rare records i did not open that up and have a look through it because you know even if i found a rare record i was just not going to be dropping 75 dollars on a record today i just wasn't going to be doing that besides half price books as the name would suggest should be about good value and indeed like you guys told me these guys had incredible prices the best prices in houston of anywhere that we checked out had to be half price when it came to vinyl these prices were fantastic it's very difficult up in denver to find records for these types of prices even at thrift stores so it was really cool so i did a little crate digging here showing you some of the titles that we were just sort of randomly coming across it was pretty well organized i don't think it was alphabetized within each individual genre but it was close now i came across this gem right here for eight dollars you can snag every song but 12 that she ever recorded in the studio in one collection for $8. It's on four compact discs, or in this case, four cassette tapes for 8 bucks. I really wish I had an excuse to buy that because I already have two copies of it. But that was a fantastic find. Factory Sealed, too, which is even harder to find. Okay, here's some eight tracks randomly. We got four there, but then I looked over to the side and... Oh boy, there's a whole stack of A tracks. So it got down on the floor. It's amazing when you're shopping for vinyl and antiques and things, how often times you end up sitting on the floor. Because a lot of times, especially records, are relegated to bins and boxes and shelves that are at floor level, which is, it's like, why? You know what I mean? Why? Why can't it be at waist level? That would be so nice. So there I'm crawling around on my hands and knees, and that wouldn't be the first time. Compact discs. These guys had an amazing and overwhelming amount of compact discs, used CDs, and that was so fun to go look through. We we just checked it all out in detail. We went through different genres and saw things that, again, you know, I always say you see something new every time you go to these places. And the way they do it, look at this, another copy. This is the CD copy, so it's a little bit more, but still a great deal. And, uh, you know, they had a they had a section, I think I show it here on camera, of just Titanic soundtracks on CD. 
Okay, let me interrupt the program at this point to say the plan originally was to go on and show you guys another place after this place. That developed into a crazy story that is going to be its own video. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. So we're going to leave it here today. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Definitely want to stay tuned for what we got coming up. But that's going to do it for today, guys. So happy record hunting and have a wonderful and blessed evening.